Coming up, this is what Florida provides, and we just follow that along with it. Chef Tristan Epps brings fresh, healthy cuisine to a famous Miami Beach hotel with beautiful ocean views. Eating healthy is also one of the power nine principles of Blue Zones to keep you living a longer, healthier life, which we'll also learn about. Plus, we're saluting nurses and the work they do all May long. All that and more is today on SoFlo Health. Hello and welcome to SoFlo Health. I'm Hunter Frankie, and that's a coot. Happy Mother's Day to the mothers out there. You might be wondering, why am I holding a sunshade? Well, because we're gonna tell you how to stay cooler throughout the summer months. Yes, I know it's spring right now, but summer's basically approaching and it's basically summer for us here in South Florida because of how hot it already is. So we wanna help you stay cooler and healthier throughout the summer and pretty much any time. So we're starting with the sunshade. It can keep your car up to 10 degrees cooler and it'll at least make it so that when you touch your steering wheel, you don't get third degree burns. And if you're lucky, it'll also work for your seatbelt. Now, you'll still get that blast of hot air when you open your car door, but your car will cool down faster and that'll keep you less sweaty, which is better for your skin. So we've got more how to stay cool in the summertime, take care of your health kind of facts as we continue. But first, watch this. As promised, I'm now joined by Tristan Epps. We're here at Ocean Social. Tristan, thanks for spending some time with us. Absolutely, how are you doing, man? I'm doing great. Tell me about Ocean Social. I mean, as you can see, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, eating destination here on the beach in South Florida, here in Miami, in the uh, historic Eden Rock Hotel. It is a one of the only waterside restaurants here on the beach, so it really just makes a magnificent eating experience. Tell me about your cuisine. What's in it? We are a wood-fired um, restaurant. We have two big, giant wood fire ovens that we cook a lot of our hot food, as well as a lot of seafood uh, because of the ocean experience that we have and we want to give along with a lot of local produce as well. We've got uh, one of your dishes right here. There's a few on the way. Tell me about this. So what we have here is we have this, it's called our Garden of Eden, right? So obviously this is the Eden Rock. We wanted something that was really representative of the, the local vegetables, the local lettuces and the lightness and like how you feel when you're here. So this is a salad using Florida citrus as a vinaigrette. Uh, a lot of shaved local vegetables. There's some fennel, uh, a little bit of radish, some turnip, some beautiful cauliflower. Underneath is a green goddess dressing to nice. make it really beautiful and really flavorful and creamy. And then some local flowers as well. And we really wanted to make it look like a garden. Really fresh, really delicious. Honestly, one of my favorite things to eat, especially in just this atmosphere at this time of day. Yeah, you, you feel good, it looks good. I'm sure it tastes good, I'll get a bite so, in a second, absolutely. but they just dropped something beautiful over here. Tell me yeah, about this. So this is kind of one of the signatures. Um, while we're not a pizza place, we wanted to really take advantage of our wood fire oven and obviously sure. do some sort of flatbread. So what more other than avocados? So this is our uh, avocado pizza. So we have a serrano and a jalapeno ricotta coming from a local cheese company that we have underneath it. Uh, some avocados on top of that, some shaved jalapenos, a little bit of lime and agave that dress the whole thing, some fresh cracked pepper, sea salt, and a little extra lime. One of the signatures of the restaurant, we leave it on all day. We have a breakfast version, a lunch version, and a dinner version. Um, really wildly popular and honestly just really satisfying in a way that's but once again, you feel so good after eating it. <laughs> I'm excited to get a taste of it, but we're gonna come right back. We've got one more dish coming out, correct? We have maybe two more dishes coming out. Two a more. Beautiful fish, we gotta show you some fish being right next to the ocean, and uh, a ceviche. We can't be in out South Florida without having my take on a ceviche. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too, so keep watching SoFlo Health, and we'll be right back here. During these hot months that we're going to call summer, but we know include spring here in South Florida, make sure you're wearing some light, breathable clothing. It's a good idea to wear especially natural fibers like cotton that will not only allow it to breathe, but it'll absorb and wick away the sweat that you're 
trying to keep off of your skin because if you're somebody that has sensitive skin, that sweat is gonna irritate it and could possibly cause breakouts. So if you know you're going to be sweaty throughout the day, maybe consider bringing an extra shirt along with you just in case, or if you're gonna be in a professional setting, that's probably a good idea to do anyway. Or if you're somebody that's wearing dress shirts, bring an extra undershirt at minimum. And make sure that you bring along some water because while you're doing all that sweating, you're going to want to make sure that you rehydrate along the way. And if you like to keep your water cool and you want it to stay cool, even in your car, then I suggest investing in one of these magical thermoses. There's a million brands out there now that do it and they work quite well. Once again, I am joined by Stephen of the Blue Zone Centers that are coming here to Miami. Stephen, it's good to see you again. It's good to see you. Thanks for having me again. Of course. Now, this is so exciting because we love health and wellness, especially coming to Miami and having a new pillar in the community. But for people that weren't with us last time, remind us, what is the Blue Zone Center? Well, the Blue Zone Center is going to be the very first Blue Zone Center in the world built on the philosophies of Blue Zones, areas in the world where people live the longest and happiest and healthy lives. So Stephen, what sort of things are going to be available at the Blue Zone Center? Well, the Blue Zone Center is going to be what we consider an ecosystem of preventative medicine or well-being services mm -hmm. and partnerships. It's connected to the Legacy Hotel, yep. which we're going to talk a little bit later about. Sure. Um, and really, what you're going to find at the Blue Zone Center is a place where you can truly understand your own health. Mm -hmm. Really understand how healthy each and every part of your body is and including what you do in your lifestyle. And then from that, we actually curate a whole program that will focus on areas of your strengths and your weaknesses. And really, it's a, it, it is a precision fitness plan, it's a precision nutrition plan, it's a precision sleep plan. It's mm -hmm. a whole team that surrounds you to help you live your life longer and better. It's exciting that we're going to go from a sick care model to more of a health care model and actually look to prevent disease in the first place. You're so right about that. And if you fix the core elements of someone's lifestyle through a medical interface, through what we call lifestyle medicine, we can make dramatic changes to a person's overall health and longevity. And it's so exciting that there's gonna be a place where it's all under one roof, so you're not running all over town <laughs> exactly. trying to figure out where it all is. Right. Well, in just a little while, we'll continue to talk about the Blue Zone Center and how exciting it is to be here in Miami. Plus, we'll also speak with Sid of Blue Zones and learn more about that as well, so stay with us. More of the delicious, healthy cuisine prepared by Chef Tristan Epps at Ocean Social and more longevity insights from Blue Zones are after the break on SoFlo Health. Welcome back to SoFlo Health. I'm Hunter Frankie, and today we've been sharing some ways that you can either stay cool and avoid the heat or just take care of yourself during the summer months, which we're also including a little bit of the spring months because it's just so darn hot here in South Florida. Now, something you can do is just enjoy the heat and head out to the beach. Now, this time of year, school is out, so there may be a little bit more people out than usual, but it's not gonna be spring break, let's say. However, if you're looking for a more remote beach in Broward County, you can go to Dr. Von D. Mizell Eula Johnson State Park for a nice, quiet place to enjoy yourself. And if you're in the Miami-Dade County area, then you could head maybe north of 55th, somewhere around mid-beach, and you'll get a pretty quiet scene there as well. So go enjoy the beach. This is Chef Tristan Epps. He is taking care of us here at Ocean Social at the historic Eden Rock Hotel. We've got an avocado pizza, we've got a beautiful salad, but there's some other stuff on the way. What are those again? So we have a really cool take on our ceviche. It's actually a mushroom ceviche. And then we're gonna have our fish dish. We call it our coastal catch. A beautiful Florida snapper with some local vegetables and a citrus butter sauce. So you're not a healthy restaurant by name. You don't try and focus on that, but I noticed that a lot of this is very healthy. So this is what Florida provides and we just follow that along with it, you know? A restaurant is made up of what the community is. So without using the things that make up that, it's, it's, it's hard to not represent that in the food. This restaurant, it's really for Miamians, right? Yeah. It's really for South Floridians. I'm glad you said that. It's exactly what I was thinking is that although it's a tourist destination for sure. a lot of people, a lot of us live here and we want to be able to enjoy it too. Absolutely. Well, more's arrived. So yes. tell us about the two new arrivals. Okay, so. Ocean Social. Next to the ocean, we really wanted to do sustainable fish here. Yeah. What we have here is a genuine red snapper, Florida snapper. Mm -hmm. All right. On top of that, local vegetables coming from um, Swank Farms and other local farms. We love Swank. And a really nice citrusy butter sauce using Florida citrus 
and some beautiful cultured butter that we make. Excellent. Right here, this is our kingfish crudo using uh, local yellow jack. Mm -hmm. All right, really similar to like kampachi or hamachi. Um, it has a gooseberry and a sunburst tomato uh, ponzu that we make. And then what we do with it is we actually make that into like a little broth. And then we pour that in with a little bit of herb oil. And nice. it becomes this beautiful little fresh crudo. Everything smells fresh, looks fresh. I'm going to get a taste of this. Absolutely, get in there. Real quick. So it should be like nice and crispy skin. Oh, yeah. Beautifully cooked. And then like vegetables, nice and still like crunchy in the peak of their freshness. Yeah, so I'm going to try and get a little bite of each flavor here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And what I love too is it's creamy without feeling heavy. Yeah. So a lot of times, those creamier dishes, especially around fish, you can feel almost like a, like a chowder when yeah, you're like, of course. I'm kind of heavy. Being by the ocean, by the pool, you want to have something that's a little bit lighter. For sure. Satisfying, yet mm -hmm. still good. Yeah. Now, this looks really interesting. So how am I supposed to eat this? So this is one we're really proud of. So this is a mushroom ceviche, right? Mm -hmm. You can't go anywhere in Miami without getting a ceviche somewhere on the menu. Mm -hmm. We wanted to do one, but we wanted to do one that was actually plant-based. Okay. But, but what you would never know. Mm -hmm. Right, so these are beautiful trumpet mushrooms that we get from our local mushroom celery, all the usual suspects. Mm -hmm. And then we wanted to make something called a leche de tigre, which is what's usually in there. So we take the rest of the broth that we actually did our mushrooms in, and we pour that in. And if you would, Andre, if you'd give that a little mix and everything a together. Mix here. You just mix everything? Just mix it all together. That's what it looks like after we've mixed it all up. Definitely looks more like a ceviche. And now I'm going to get a taste of this. I'll try and get a little bit of everything here. And then what you do is you find that you get with these beautiful mushrooms and how we've treated like all the same texture of a raw fish, all the crunch of celery, all the freshness of the red onion. Well, listen, Kristen, this is all absolutely delicious. Oh, thank you. I love that it's healthy yep. and delicious. We got a beautiful view. If people want to learn more about Ocean Social, how can they? You could always go onto our website, also our social media, our Instagram, where you're always seeing our new stuff, our new specials, everything we drop. So it's all there. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Tristan. I really appreciate it. And I got a lot of food to handle here, so keep watching SoFlo Health. With the advent of digital thermostats, you can keep your home cooler ahead of time by changing it from an app on your phone. However, if you want to save yourself some money in the process and not make your air conditioner work overtime when it's hot outside, you can simply close the blinds or pull the curtains in your home to allow less sunlight into your house heating it up. Something else that would help would be impact windows and doors that have that tint that come along with it. Um, and you can also tint your windows as well. Similar concept to what we talked about earlier with your car, but you can do the same thing in your home to save yourself some money. Today we've been talking about the Blue Zone Center coming to Miami. And now we're gonna talk about Blue Zones with Sid from Blue Zones. Sid, thanks for being with us. Thanks for the invite, Hunter. It's good to be here. Of course. And tell me, what are Blue Zones, people that don't know? We traveled the world with National Geographic to figure out why certain environments produced a greater number of centarians. And we're trying to bring that to more and more communities here in North America. Right. And for those of you that didn't catch that, centarian is somebody that's lived a uh, hundred years or more. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. And what are some of the things that people can do to create a Blue Zone here in Miami? Mm -hmm. So we're working here in South Florida and, and all of Miami day to create those environments. Our goal here, Hunter, is really to make the healthy choice the easiest choice, to empower everyone to live their long, better life. So it's safe to say that blue zones are, when you hear about a healthy lifestyle, that's what this is? It, it is definitely a, a lifestyle, and, and we want to make it easy so that you don't have to think about it. So Sid, how does the Blue Zone Center tie in with Blue Zones? We are currently working in 71 cities in North America. We help them with issues that they might have with child obesity or with cardiovascular disease, um, walkability. You know, everybody knows they need to walk, but if there are no sidewalks, and it's not safe to walk from one neighborhood to another neighborhood. We need some policy changes and we need to have a built environment that, that supports the Blue Zone uh, philosophy. Great. If people want to learn more about Blue Zones, how can they? Uh, BlueZones.com um, and you can learn all the principles, the power of nine, and lots of things that you can get off the uh, website uh, to take advantage of this as we roll this out in Miami-Dade. Well, Sid, thank you so much for your time. Absolutely, Hunter. I appreciate the offer. Of course. And we love that health and wellness is getting easier thanks to people like Blue Zones. We're going to check back in with Steven later, but first, watch this. 
How to survive the heat, a chat with a nurse, and what's ahead for Blue Zone centers are coming up when SoFlo Health returns. Welcome back to SoFlo Health. I'm Hunter Frankie. It's hot outside, and that's exactly what we're talking about. Whether it's the summertime or the springtime, any time here in South Florida, it's hot. And what can you do to take care of your health? Well, a lot of people like to use this time of year to absolutely cook themselves outside for a nice tan. And if that's what you want to do, and you understand the risks involved, go right ahead. But if you're just saying, hey, I just wanted to get some vitamin D, so I was outside for a couple hours. Well, you really only need about 15 to 30 minutes of full sun exposure during the peak hours of the day, which are about 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. to get the vitamin D that most people need. Now, it varies based on the melanin in your skin, but you don't need to be cooking yourself out in the sun. So take care of yourself, wear your sunscreen, and I'll see you after you watch this. All May long, we are saluting nurses with Catholic Health Services, which is why I'm at St. Catherine's West Rehabilitation Hospital. We're about to meet Christina. She's gonna tell us about her time as a nurse, and you'll find out how you can become one if you'd like. Follow me. Christina, thank you for spending some time with us today. Thank you for having me. Oh, of course. So tell me, how long have you been a nurse? I've been a nurse for about 13 years. And what's your favorite part about nursing? Especially in our setting, um, it's very rewarding to be able to see our patients come in um, unable to speak, unable to walk, um, fully dependent, and leave speaking, moving, and dependent. Christina, do you have any stories that stand out from your time nursing? I do, I have a lot, but I have one good one for you. Excellent. So during COVID, we worked with the Marion Center, which is a facility that houses and takes care of women and children with disabilities. Mm -hmm. And we were able to test them weekly for COVID as well as vaccinate their facility because they were in quarantine. So they could not leave the facility. Wow. So we were able to work with them to do that for them. Tell me about your experience working at St. Catharines West. I have grown here from the bottom and I am proud to say that this is my family and this is my home. So I'm very happy here. I'd love to hear that. Yes. Um, do you think this is a good place for new nurses to learn and to have a good environment to be in? Yes, I recommend that they go onto our website, find more information regarding our facilities. We are, like I said, a family here, and we take in all of our new nurses and we nurture them to be the best they can. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time, Christina. Thank you. You got it. Yes, yes, we know it's hot outside, but what if you want to cool down quickly? Well, there are three areas on your body that you can apply cold water to to be able to cool down quickly. The first is the soles of your feet. If you put cold water or ice on the soles of your feet, that will help you cool down rapidly. The other is the palms of your hands. If you grip something cold or you dip your hands into cold water, that will also help you rapidly cool down. And finally, the third place is your face. If you splash your face with cold water or you apply a cold compress or ice packs to your forehead and cheeks, that will help you cool down rapidly. Those are basically the heat regulators of your body and if you cool them down, that will help you cool down quickly. I'm joined by Steven, managing partner of Blue Zone Centers. We've been talking about all the exciting Blue Zones related material that's coming to South Florida, but where's it gonna be? Well, it's actually in Miami World Center, mm -hmm. the kind of the new heartbeat of downtown Miami, mm -hmm. uh, where you see all that construction going up. Well, part of that construction is a site that's being built right now, which will be a 54-story luxury hotel with their connected Blue Zone Center integrated within the hotel and connected through another medical office building. Right. And what's the name of that hotel? The Legacy Hotel. The Legacy Hotel. Well, that's a perfect name for a place that's <laughs> hopefully giving people uh, longer lives and healthier lives. Very true. To live, to their, live legacy. their own legacy. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and what will we find inside of the Blue Zone Center? What sort of services will be available to people? Well, so the Blue Zone Center is really going to be a place where you could go and, like we said in the last part, uh, to understand your health. But it's also a place where you can treat it. We have all types of different treatments and protocols and, and therapeutics found in that single location. But what's nice is that this is a lifestyle hotel. It's not a wellness hotel. It means mm -hmm. you can go and have a lot of fun. You come down to Miami yeah. and you can come to us and we can help get you back on the right path. Or you may be visiting 
and staying in the hotel while you're going through your wellness journey with us. And this is something that's going to be reflective in the community. Uh, and one of the other things that's a big part of the community is cardiovascular health. We talk about it all the time. Yep. People are afraid of heart attack strokes and all sorts of other things. Um, what are you doing to help spread the awareness in the community? In fact, we're so passionate about heart disease and the impact it has on people. So we're a sponsor of the American Heart Association and their upcoming event, Go Red for Women, to help bring the awareness of heart disease um, as it relates to women at an event on May 25th. So something to everybody should remember. Well, excellent. If we would like to learn more, how can we? Well, you could go to our website at www.bluezonescenter.com. You can learn a lot about what we're doing, uh, what we're doing in the community, and of course, learn about the event, the Go Red for Women event that's coming up, so you can be part of it. Well, Stephen, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Hunter. Really appreciate it. Of course. Welcome back to SoFlo Health. I'm Hunter Frankie. And we've been talking about ways to stay cooler and healthy during the hot months here in South Florida. And really, the best thing you can do is just stay inside of your production van, if you have one, you know, or your car, house. Just don't go outside if you don't need to during the really hot part of the day. I know it sounds like common sense, but sometimes if we get stubborn and we say, ah, I'll just, I'll just mow the lawn in the middle of the day because that's when I feel like doing it. Well, and if that's what you want to do, go right ahead. Just make sure you have plenty of water. You are making sure that you feel good, um, that you're not feeling lightheaded or anything like that. Make sure you can wear something like a hat to protect yourself from the sun. Sunscreen, sun protective clothing, breathable clothing like we mentioned earlier. But really, if you can just stay out of the heat, do so. Your sweaty skin will thank you. And if you do get sweaty, change your shirt, take a shower, rinse it off as soon as possible. That bacteria will build. Okay, all right, enough of all that. That's all we have for this week's episode of SoFlo Health. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you can watch previous episodes of SoFlo Health on SoFloShows.com. You can follow us using at SoFlo Health to share with us what you're doing to stay healthy. Until next week, it's goodbye, good health, and let's get out of here. On delay, let's go. Next week on SoFlo Health, personal trainer Alex Rivera shows us movements to protect, loosen, and strengthen our lower back. Plus, all you need to know regarding your health and the air you breathe. It's all right here next week on SoFlo Health.